This is the Music History Today podcast for July 30th. On today's show, Top of the Pops ends and Sublime debuts. First up, though, on this date in 1942, Frank Sinatra recorded his last two songs with the Tommy Dorsey Orchestra before striking out on a solo career, which I would say was pretty successful. In 1954, Elvis Presley joined the Memphis Federation of Musicians. In 1956, Brenda Lee recorded the song Jambalaya. In 1965, the Duke Ellington piece Golden Brown and the Green Apple premiered. In 1968, the Beatles' Apple Boutique Clothing Store closed. In 1969, the Beatles recorded a bunch of songs, including Come Together and Carry That Weight. In 1969, same day, Barbra Streisand opened up for Liberace in Las Vegas at the International Hotel, which is no longer standing. In 1982, the movie Night Shift was released. The movie had the original version of the song That's What Friends Are For, with Rod Stewart doing the vocals. This was years before the Dionne Warwick, Gladys Knight, Elton John, and Stevie Wonder version came out. In 1986, RCA Records ended its contract with John Denver. In 1989, the Newport Folk Festival held its 30th anniversary show. John Lee Hooker, Pete Seeger, and Leon Redbone were among the performers that time. In 2003, Toronto threw a concert to get tourists to come back after the SARS virus scared people away. The concert featured Rush, the Isley Brothers, the Rolling Stones, and the Flaming Lips. In 2004, Ronald Isley of the Isley Brothers suffered a stroke in London, England. He recovered a few weeks later. In 2006, the last episode of the 42-year-old British music television show Top of the Pops was shown on television. In 2007, Britney Spears divorced dancer Kevin Federline. In 2010, T.I. married Tiny Cottle. And in 2011, U2 finished their 360 tour. In classical music in 1824, Giacchino Rossini became the manager of the Theatre Italien in Paris, France. And in 1965, the Charles Ives piece From the Steeples and the Mountains premiered. In theater in 1972, the Melvin Van Peoples musical Ain't Supposed to Die Death closed on Broadway. Albums that were released on July 30th include in 1965 when the Rolling Stones released Out of Our Heads. In 1968, Buffalo Springfield released Last Time Around. In 1969, Moby Grape released Truly Fine Citizen and Miles Davis released In a Silent Way. In 1979, Chic released Risqué. In 1986, The Cutting Crew released Broadcast. In 1987, Mary Chapin Carpenter released Hometown Girl. In 1990, The Cave Dogs released Joy Rides for Shut-Ins. In 1991, The Psychedelic Furs released World Outside and Widespread Panic released their self-titled album. In 1996, Alice in Chains released MTV Unplugged. Also in 1996, The Human League released Soundtrack to a Generation, Republica released their self-titled debut album, and Sublime released their self-titled debut album. In 2001, the band Cast released Beat Root. In 2002, Roxy Music released Ladytron, and Bruce Springsteen released The Rising. Singles that were released in the UK on July 30th include in 1971 when George Harrison released Bangladesh, in 1976 Thin Lizzy released Jailbreak, and in 1979 George Harrison released Faster. Meanwhile, in America in 1955, Chuck Berry released Maybelline. In 1969, The Temptations released I Can't Get Next to You. In 1970, Neil Diamond released Cracklin' Rosie. In 1996, Pearl Jam released Who You Are. Before we continue, we'd like to tell you about the Music History In-Depth podcast, where we go in-depth on the history of some of the events from the daily version of the Music History Today podcast. The Music History In-Depth podcast drops new episodes every Tuesday in audio and video form wherever you get your podcasts. 
We also have the Music Halls of Fame podcast, where we honor a year in music along with a member of the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, along with who we think should be in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Plus, we honor a different museum, Walk of Fame or Hall of Fame. The Music Halls of Fame podcast drops every Thursday in audio and video form wherever you get your podcasts. Now, back to the Music History Today podcast. Artists who were born on July 30th include singer Kate Bush, blues great Buddy Guy, singer-songwriter and also Billie Eilish's brother, Phineas O'Connell, Christine McGuire of the McGuire Sisters, jazz saxophonist Mr. David Sanborn, singer Paul Anka, Brad Hargreaves of Third Eye Blind, Joyce Jones of First Choice, Hugh Nicholson of Marmalade, Jeffrey Hammond of Jethro Tull, Sean Moore of the Manic Street Preachers, Ian Watkins of Lost Prophets, Chris Darrow of the Nitty Gritty Dirt Band, drummer John Siomos, Rat Scabies of the group The Damned, composer extraordinaire Mr. Antonio Puccini, pianist and Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart sister Maria Anna Mozart, rapper Young Lyric, rapper Street Pud, singer Ice J.J. Fish, Rapper King Lil G, singer Edwin Cazares, blues singer Otis Taylor, guitarist Andy Scott of the group Sweet, country music singer Neil McCoy, guitarist Dwayne O'Brien of the group Little Texas, guitarist Craig Gannon of the Bluebells, and also the group The Smiths, Louise Wenner of Sleeper, guitarist Seth Avett of the Avett Brothers, Reed's player Frank Smith, drummer and trumpet player Benny Featherstone, and pianist Gerald Moore. Artists who unfortunately passed away on July 30th include composer Sigmund Staden, who passed away in 1655 at the age of 47. Composer Augustin Uhlinger passed away in 1781 at the age of 35. Composer Adolf Philipp passed away in 1936 at the age of 72. Composer Benjamin Dale passed away in 1943 at the age of 58. Composer Sem Dresden passed away in 1957 at the age of 76. Composer Alexander Albrecht passed away in 1958 at the age of 72. Composer John Leafs passed away in 1968 at the age of 69. The conductor of the Cleveland Orchestra from 1946 to 1970, George Zell passed away in 1970 at the age of 73. Composer Eric Katz passed away in 1973 at the age of 72. Composer Lev Nipper passed away in 1974 at the age of 75. Pianist Norman Lloyd passed away in 1980 at the age of 70. Concert violinist Daisy Kennedy passed away in 1981 at the age of 88. Lyricist Howard Dietz passed away in 1983 at the age of 86. Arranger and conductor Peter Knight passed away in 1985 at the age of 68. Songwriter Tiddy Soto passed away from AIDS in 1992 at the age of 48. Saxophonist Donald Merrick was shot by police during a narcotics investigation in 1993 at the age of 53. Biggie Tempo of the group The Bundu Boys committed suicide in 1995 at the age of 36. Composer Max Showalter passed away in 2000 at the age of 83. The owner of Sun Records, where Elvis Presley, among many others, got their start, Rock and Roll Hall of Famer Sam Phillips passed away in 2003 at the age of 80. Composer Jan Hanus passed away in 2004 at the age of 89. Jazz musician Lucky Thompson passed away in 2005 at the age of 81. Accordionist Anthony Gallarini passed away in 2006 at the age of 102. Composer Zlatko Peternik passed away in 2010 at the age of 83. Composer Otto Joachim passed away in 2010 at the age of 99. Dick Wagner of the group The Frost passed away in 2014 at the age of 71. Country music singer Lynn Anderson passed away from heart issues in 2015 at the age of 67. Singer and actress the legendary Gloria DeHaven passed away in 2016 at the age of 91. 
Singer and guitarist Jacob Desvero passed away in 2021 from COVID-19 at the age of 65. Blues singer-songwriter Archie Roach passed away in 2022 at the age of 66. And singer and the actress who played Lieutenant Uhuru in the original Star Trek television show, Nichelle Nichols, passed away in 2022 at the age of 89. Next on the Music History Today podcast, it is July 31st, when in 2015, Drake whines about being called on his cell phone late night when someone needs his love. Thank you very, very much for listening, if you're listening on the podcast, or if you're watching this on YouTube or Spotify video. As always, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and share this podcast. And if you like this podcast and you want more of our podcasts, then I invite you to check out our Music Halls of Fame podcast in either audio or video form. It drops every single Thursday. You can listen to the audio version of this podcast on Apple, Anchor, Spotify, Google Podcasts, CastBox, wherever you get your podcasts from, all under Music History Today. You can also watch the video version of this podcast on either YouTube or Spotify Video, also under Music History Today. Our Facebook page is Music History Today. Our website is jamaritaniamedia.com. And our Twitter is twitter.com backslash Music History Day. Thank you very, very much for listening or watching.